Today we're going to be looking at git stash in PHP Storm. It's a really simple feature in git yet really powerful. In order to do it in PHP Storm, there are multiple ways. On Windows, if we use Alt and Backtick, we can bring up the VCS operations menu and you can see we have stash changes here. We can also use Control Shift and A and type git stash to bring up stash changes. Now, before we actually do git stash, let's make some changes in our code. So I'm just going to remove all the code in this index method here. And notice that, yep, okay, cool. We can now stash these changes because they show up in our working directory. Okay. Now, what happens if I want to switch branches here for whatever reason? I can bring up my VCS operations menu, go to stash changes, and you'll notice we have this little window here. Type a message. That message will be the name of your stash. So click create stash. And now in the bottom here, you can see it's stashing changes and it brings back the original code that we deleted. You can see our working directory is now clean. And what happens for whatever reason, I want to go to my master branch. So I'm going to check out my master branch and that's cool. I don't have any changes in my working directory. My stash is still safe. And let's go back to the branch that I was working on. So if we go VCS operations, branches, demo branch, and check that out. Yes, we still have those changes that were there, the original ones. Let's go to unstash changes this time. You can see our stash still exists. We click view. Yes, we made changes in the post controller. And yes, we removed that code from that method. So let's close all of this and click apply stash. And that brings back our changes, which was removing all the code in the method. And you can see it's now working directory. So that's how you use git stash in PHP Storm. I hope this helps. Thanks very much, guys.